Yeah, the Sviri instrument on board MSG has a total of, of 12 spectral channels in which we take pictures every 15 minutes of, of the Earth. And these spectral channels cover, well, the range from reflected sunlight in, in two channels. We go to the near-infrared reflected sunlight, so this is a little bit beyond to what our human eyes can see, and to a total of eight thermal channels measuring the thermal emission of, of the Earth and the atmosphere and the clouds. And the reason why we have so many channels is really that every channel has got its own spectral signature, so to speak, that every channel's channel observes a certain feature in the atmosphere or in combination with other channels observes certain features, certain aspects of the atmosphere. So for example, we have channels that are that are dedicated to observe well land surfaces, land surface temperature or the vegetation cover. We have channels that are more geared towards, towards clouds. We can look at the cloud height, the cloud top height. We can look at uh, the cloud phase, meaning we can find out whether the cloud is in water or in ice phase, which is obviously important, for example, for, for aviation, but also to forecast the individual cloud evolution. Well, we can look at not so quite frequent events like big dust outbreaks in the, in the Sahara Desert, mainly in the Sahara Desert, which are of course important for Africa, but also in some cases to, to Europe, to Southern Europe uh, uh, especially. We can look at very rare events like volcanic eruptions. So in the 2010 Icelandic uh, uh, volcano eruptions, uh, uh, that has got a lot of uh, attention from, from the public and from the weather services. Another important as asset of MSG is the fact that it is a geostationary satellite. That means we can really observe the Earth on the same location every 15 minutes or with our our special MSG satellite in rapid scan mode even every five minutes. So we see this, this weather in motion, which is really important for forecasting events which might take place in a few hours, in the next three to six hours. Um, examples here would be, well, fog detection, the detection of fog formation, fog uh, dissipation in very small areas. If you think of mountain valleys or, or you know, very small locations like this, where it is of importance to, to have a good forecast of when the fog is, will be forming or when it will disappear. Or also things like, like convection, severe convection, like big thunder, thunderstorms that form, that we can detect at a very early stage and thus, thus give, based on MSG data, very early warning.